Hello everyone, uh, happy set 9 release day. I'm coming at you with a deck profile using the new Surge Piccolo leader, uh, some new cards from set 9, and then of course uh, Ultra Instinct Sign Goku. So let's uh, hop right in. Uh, first off we got our leader, uh, Surge Piccolo, uh, using the, the uh, new Surge mechanic, so you put a blue card, green card behind him, you can awaken him basically whenever. Uh, not super important because his front side is very good. Uh, to start a turn, you basically get to look at the top card of your deck, choose whether to put it on top or bottom, uh, draw it, and then you take your draw for the turn. So, uh, you know, one scry, one extra draw, and then draw for turn isn't uh, too bad. And that's really where we're going to get most of the utility from this card. Uh, his awakened side isn't bad. Uh, you can, you know, once per turn, either charge an extra multicolor energy or uh, drop two cards from your opponent's hands. But that's not super integral to uh, what we're doing here. You're going to kind of want to keep this Piccolo on his front side for as long as you can to get that, you know, that scry, set up your combo pieces, and get that extra draw. Because once he uh, flips over, there's no additional draw. Uh, you're basically going to want to do this, you know, when it's time to go in for the kill. Uh, but besides just that front side effect, him being blue and green, uh, super useful, gives us access to a lot of tools, uh, and just is all around super helpful in making a uh, you know a well-rounded blue green deck uh, so yeah and then the next big card of this deck is the uh, Ultra Instinct Sign Sun Goku uh, you pay two blue to evolve them on top of a Sun Goku card from the energy cost of five uh, it comes in with triple strike uh, and then when you attack with this card your opponent just straight up can't combo uh, and then on top of that when you play him he bounces all of your opponent's battle cards back to hand. So if you get him to stick on the field, super useful, super, you know, this is the win count here. This is the uh, the game ender, hopefully. Uh, and if it doesn't end the game, we do have, you know, ways around that, ways to uh, help you out. Uh, so, you know, let's take a look at all the other cards. Uh, one of the coolest things about this deck is that uh, if you, uh, you know, get a incredible first hand uh and you want to you can get that ultra instinct out by turn two uh, i'll go over that a bit later but let's look at the uh chain we're using for this first uh so off the bat we have uh android 18 full of rage and uh supreme technique sun goku uh they're both four costs green and blue cards with uh a rival cost of one blue uh, so effectively you can get these out turn one uh, 18 when you play her uh, you can't play another copy of her for the rest of the turn and then uh, if you're not going to use it for the chain you can return her to your hand to bounce back one of your opponent's cards with the energy cost four or less uh, Goku is less useful in that regard since he uses clone tokens and this deck uses no cards that summon clone tokens uh, he's really just here for a rival fodder to uh, evolve up the Ultra Instinct chain. Uh, so I just run two Supreme Techniques, four Android 18s, just because she's, you know, more utilitarian uh, if you're not looking for that chain at the moment. Uh, so you start with that and then evolve, not really evolve, but chain up into Sun Goku Path to the Infinite, which with him, you pay one blue, return a a uh, blue battle card with a cost of four uh, return it to your hand and then you play this instead so you know get android or other goku on the field swing if you're so inclined pay one swap them out uh, and there is five cost blue goku which then obviously gets used to x evolve into ultra instinct sun goku uh, on top of that there's one more uh kind of end piece to this chain, uh, Kaioken Sun Goku, uh, which doesn't even cost energy to X evolve him. You just gotta drop one card from your hand. Uh, and then it's a blue Sun Goku with an energy cost of seven or more, which uh, Ultra Instinct fits the bill. Uh, then when you play this card, he, he only has a double strike, but uh, when you play him for the duration of the turn, you can't lose the game. And from there on out, you can take two life to restand him. So some like, Real degenerate things you can do is get Ultra Instinct on the field. Um, 
you know, if he sticks, swing for triple strike, they'll probably pay to negate or combo out of it. Uh, evolve into Kaioken, take two life, uh, restand, swing. Uh, I don't know why I said combo. They can't, they can't combo with uh, against sign, so more than likely they'll negate. Evolve into Kaioken, take two life, restand, swing. Uh, if they combo out of that, take two life, restand, swing again. Uh, they're still doing it. Take two life, restand. Uh, and if you have another one in hand, you can then evolve Kaioken back down to Ultra Instinct. And at that point, they're probably tapped out with few cards in their hand, so you can go for the swing. Can't combo out. That's game right there. I've done that once. Uh, it felt pretty good. Obviously, that's not, you know, in every time scenario. That's not going to be super uh, common, but it, if you can pull it off, it's pretty fun. So that's the main chain right there. That's what I built the rest of this deck around. Uh, so what else do I have? Um, well, for the super combos, I have the new dual color uh, Android 18 Bionic Blitz. Uh, it's, you know, free dual color, so you can pay your rival costs for free. Uh, on top of that, when you play or when you super combo with her, instead of uh, drawing a card, your opponent drops a card from their hand. Um, and then... You know, we have the four uh, Android 17 Protectors of Wildlife, just because we're going to be running, running a lot of, you know, dual-color cards, need that dual-color energy. Um, I have uh, three of each, Android 18 Speedy Substitution, and three Kind Saiyan Sun Gokus. Uh, just, you know, if you need a combo piece that you don't have in hand, play one of these. The Gokus, obviously, to find some Gokus. On uh, the Androids, uh, to find the... Android 18 full of rage, the super combo, or even a, you know, another uh, dual color energy if you need it. And then the last battle card in this deck, uh, Sun Goku and Sun Gohan, Saints of Earth, just because it's it's a super useful blue green card. Uh, you can arrive it in. When you do, uh, you can choose one of your opponent's battle cards, uh, and just put it in their energy in rest mode. Just you know, easily take a card off the board. Uh, on top of that, this is also an evolved target for uh, uh, Ultra Instinct. So on top of just being a good card, uh, it just facilitates the rest of the chain. Uh, so let's, now that we have this out of the way, let's move on to the uh, extra cards. Uh, four copies of Senzu Bean, obviously. Uh, for Negates, we have two Sacrifice and four Dimension Magic. Uh, sacrifice is super nice since it's a piccolo, a green piccolo leader. Uh, we can take a life to counter the attack and just negate it, uh, which is useful because we don't need the sparking five like dimension magic. Uh, obviously, dimension magic is still a bit better because when you play it, you can restand two energy. Uh, Artificial impact. This is another one of the new cards, and it's pretty good. It's our only card in this deck right now that goes around barrier. Uh, so you pay three and just basically remove any of your opponent's battle cards that's been giving you a problem. Uh, and then on top of that, uh, your opponent chooses one card in their hand and drops it. Uh, and even if you don't need that barrier removal, these new cards basically let you combo with them for free for 5k combo power, so they don't clog up your hand like extra cards sometimes can. Uh, if you want, Barrier of Hope is another good one. It's the blue version of this. Uh, it just pay three, same thing, destroy a card, ignoring barrier. Uh, but instead of uh, removing a card from your opponent's hand, you get to draw two, which can be useful. This deck does suffer a bit on card draw. Um, so if you want to tweak the deck more that way, I'd definitely go with Barrier of Hope. But uh, for me, I just like the uh, light hand control aspect that I have going right now. Uh, for counter plays, we got Vegeta the Cruel. Uh, when you play him, destroy a, uh, one of your opponent's battle cards, and then he costs four or less, and then he comes out you know, onto the field. And then if you have a multicolor energy, he gets his cost gets reduced. Uh, and finally, hidden potential, basically just the green blue version of Denial of Hope, uh, except for in addition to um, placing the opponent's battle card in the drop area once played, you also get to restand an energy. Um, yeah, all around, just kind of a interesting deck. Um, I've had quite a bit of success with it, mainly just because people weren't expecting. 
uh, where I was going with the Piccolo leader. Uh, and hope I hope this does well. Uh, obviously, the new set's out today, so we'll be seeing how it plays against the new meta. Uh, you know, that new cooler deck, uh, Universe 7, Universe 11, all that new fun stuff. Uh, as for sideboarding goes, uh, it's kind of up to you. There's obviously some other additions you could make to this deck. Um, Newfound Power Sun Gohan is obviously uh, an easy addition. Uh, it helps to self-awaken, uh, plus just a quick beater for the first few turns if you need it. Uh, and then Focus uh, Breakthrough or Absolute Release Ball are both very good. Uh, they're the counter plays where you can take life instead of paying the cost. Uh, really, which either one, whichever one you want, they're both good. Uh, Focus Breakthrough puts the uh, battle card being played in the drop area. Release Ball uh, returns the battle card to the owner's hand, uh, but it does restand one of your energy. So again, that's just kind of however you want to play it. Um, but yeah, earlier I mentioned that you can get uh, Alternating Sign out as early as turn two, so I'm going to walk you through that real quick. Um, but basically it goes like this. So, turn one. Uh, if you're on the play, there's not much you can do. Just charge with a blue card. Uh, and then pass. Uh, your opponent goes, if they end up attacking, uh, you would then... Oh god, where did I put it? Uh, if your opponent ends up attacking, you would... Super combo with one of the new dual super combos, but I have lost them here. Yeah. Super combo with that, pay the one blue to bring out uh, either Android 18 full of rage or the uh, Sun Go uh, Magnificent Technique Sun Goku. Uh, opponent passes, restand a blue. You'd go ahead and charge with, you know, another blue. And then. Uh, like I said, if you felt inclined to swing with 18, go ahead. But there are ways that can, you know, mess you up. They can get countered, can get removed from the field. Uh, so what you can instead do, you know, pay one, bounce it back to hand, play Path to the, path to the Infinite, uh, swing with Leader. Uh, if it doesn't get negated, go ahead and send Zubin. Uh, just buff your Leader. Restand will then be two of your energies. Uh, see if it goes through or not. And then, uh, at this point, you would, you know, pay two, X Evolve, Path to the Infinite, into Ultra Instinct, Science on Goku. And then, there you have them, your kill card turn two. Uh, obviously, this is going to be very situational. If you, um, if your opponent isn't taking a lot of life early, there's not a lot of point to having a triple strike turn two because then you know turn three they can e easily uh you know barrier of hope it or artificial impact it um but if you're worried about him being countered in the future or if you want to disrupt your opponent's early combos you can do that and then uh hell if you have a kaioken sun goku in hand you can evolve into him without paying another cost and then just start ripping your own life and s trying to swing for game uh, I've never actually attempted that. It's just an interesting thing that can occur. And hey, if it works out, then that'll be pretty interesting. Um, but yeah, that's basically it. Uh, right now, this is kind of just a base. If you want to tweak this and do some other things with it, like you can definitely make this deck focus more on hand destruction. Uh, or you could swap out some cards, get some better uh, draw cards in here. Uh, there's a lot you can do with this. Uh, even removing all the uh, Ultra Instinct sign chain, uh, there's still a fairly decent base here for a blue-green Piccolo-based deck. Uh, I'll leave the uh, deck list uh, down in the uh, description, so feel free to take a look, tweak it. Uh, and if you end up playing this either online or like at your locals, just you know, let me know how it goes, because, hell, if you can't tell, I love Piccolo and want to see him do good, and I think this leader is uh, our best chance at seeing you know, Piccolo in the meta. Uh, but yeah, enjoy your you, uh, your set nine release day. Good luck with your pulls. And uh, yeah, I'll see you next time.